Welcome everyone. So welcome to leadership. This is the kick side of the video. I demonstrated an awesome one with the hands, the hand combo. It's a lot of fun boxing stuff, big. Remember, we're talking about communication this session. So remember, we can communicate with our body language. So when we do that combo, Mr. G's, bah, bah, make it big, have that big presentation. Right? We're gonna move on with this video for kicks. I know in our low rank class, we've been practicing that powder crescent kick. In our high rank class, we practice the inner crescent kick. So for here, we're actually gonna put it together. So we're actually taking both of those uh, concepts and putting it together to make um, a cool combo for our leadership. Um, video okay and there's different var var variations that you can do with this kick combo um, we're gonna do a few today um, and then when we do the form at home or if you're able to come in person you gotta find and do your very own kick combo okay so the very first thing you can put your right leg in the back hands up yeah back legs and cross and out of crest kick and put it in the back so all these kick combos you're gonna land in the back so once again back leg is gonna come across yeah the goal is to go for the temple. That's how high you can go. If you can, that's awesome. If you have to start a little lower, that's totally fine as well. You're challenged to build yourself up. The next one is, you're gonna take that back leg once again. You're gonna spin on your back shoulder, out of press kick, and land it back. So let's try that three times really fast, singers. Back leg, back shoulder, spin. One, sir, spin. Two, sir, last one, best one. Three, sir, so low ranks. Um, this is very similar to like last session we did like the round kick, reverse side kick. Same concept, just take the round kick out. Um, for high ranks, it's not in our form currently that inner crescent kick, reverse side kick. That same motion is what we're doing now. Uh, so that's the second step. So let's put those two steps together. Let's do kick one and kick two. So our back leg, just X in front and kick. One, so now you're gonna spin, kick, and that's two. If you're outside, be careful. Make sure it's a flatter ground. I know right now I'm like a little wobbly because the ground's a little, <laughs> some flat. But let's try it again. One and two together. And we'll add three in one second. So everyone go out of crescent kick, spin. Out of crescent kick. Good. So the next one, it's a lot of fun, but you have to take it slow. If you go super fast, you're gonna miss components, you're gonna miss pieces, you're gonna miss steps. Okay, so let's do it together. So you're gonna use your back leg once again. Spin like you would, but stop. So then you're gonna take your other leg. We're gonna do an outer crescent, so you're gonna take your other leg and do an inner crescent, but with a switch. So that's the full motion. Let's break it down step by step. So take this leg, step in front and stop. Take your back leg, go inner crescent kick. Okay, so that's step by step. So once again, so we spin and step back leg, in your crescent kick, okay? Once you're pretty comfortable with that spinning, with that motion, let's put the pieces together. You're gonna take your back knee, spin, like you're doing out of crest kick, like that second kick, but don't kick. You're gonna leave it here. Your other leg is gonna switch, kick. So once again, the slower motion, you're gonna spin your back shoulder, hold your knee, other leg, switch. After you get a little comfortable with that, the faster you go, the easier it be. So you go a little faster, you're gonna spin, and then kick all around. Okay, so that's one step to the kick combo. The last, the second one, a variety is a lot of fun. Okay? I know we did this last year with the kick combo. It's the pop 360. Okay? It's super fun. You're gonna do two out of crescent kicks. You're gonna do the one and the two together. You're not gonna do the third combo, what we just did. But this time, we're going the opposite direction. So take your left leg, put it back. You're gonna take this leg, go out of crescent kick. Try again, go out of crescent kick. Wait, one more time. This time, when you out of crescent kick, land in the front. So go out of crescent kick, land in front. Step around. Now just 360 jump. Boom. You're gonna end facing that way. So one more time. You're gonna take your back leg, go out of crescent kick, squish in front. Step around 363. I'm facing here, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna end facing that direction. Okay. Once you're pretty comfortable with that, you're just gonna put the last little bit and you're gonna do a jump with your outer crescent kick. So full speed, because this is a little hard to break down. Full speed when you're here, you're gonna go outer, step jump, outer, and you're gonna finish facing that direction. All right, so let's do it one more time. 
Do it from here. Start left. Left on your back. You can go out of crescent kick. Woo, my bad. Playing back. Out of crescent kick. Oh, no, I messed up again. It's <laughs> okay. Front. It's all right. Out of crescent kick. Land to the front. Step. Out of crescent kick. You're going to finish facing that direction. You saw he landed in a middle stance, everybody, okay? And with this one, the reason uh, it's really, once you kind of get it, you have to kind of go faster because you need that momentum to step into it. Do it one more time, Mr. Popsky. Yes, sir. So you're going to start back. You're going to kick front, front, front. plant, boom. And you see, he stuck that landing, beautiful. And you really need that step into it, land in front, that swing, that momentum, all that to uh, get off the ground and get around and land properly, so. Have fun. Be careful. We like being out in the grass because, A, it's sunny today, and, B, you know, it's soft ground, so uh, you may not have mats in your house like we have in the school, so we like to go outside if, if we can, but, of course, be safe, be careful, and good luck. Anything else, sir? Yes, sir. To Mr. Eastpoint, if you are indoors because your outside's a little unleveled, make sure you ask permission for a jump. Make sure you communicate. Remember, we have to look our, about our surroundings. Then we listen because we have, we have rules of the house. Right. Then from there, talk. That's the third level. Say, hey, Mom, I have this leisure kick or dad or grandma, grandpa, whoever's watching you, say, can I do this here? If they say no, then communicate that. Say, hey, do you, is there a safe place, safe environment that I can kick? Remember, use our leisure skills, our communication for the session. That links us together. Okay, awesome job. Be safe, like Mr. E said. Great job. Face here. Chip. Yeah.